Hello everyone and this is my review for TNA Impact Wrestling on July 31st, 2014. And of course this was their uh, Destination X special, which basically had them revolving everything around the X Division. Everything that is typic, uh, typically made TNA kind of its own entity over the, uh, over the years. And it's like their one time of the year that they fully grasp onto that concept. And, you know, for the most part, I, I felt it was a fairly entertaining show. I liked how they did, they did use a little bit of time to build up throughout, uh, for next week's show with uh, the EC3 and Bully, uh, and Bully Ray deal, uh, creating the eight-man tag team match. Um, don't really like the fact that they have Schnitzky and Ezekiel Jackson, uh, Ezekiel J uh, Jackson there. It, they just seem so out of place, and they don't really seem to be like a main event caliber type uh, you know, uh, you know, main event caliber type, but they have the, but they have them in this like main event type tag team match uh, going into next week. But you know, it is what it is, and it does at least make it seem like they got, you know, two powerhouse type people there. But you know, most people know who they are, and though they weren't really that big of a deal to begin with, so. Uh, that is what it is. Otherwise, you know, the build with EC3 and uh, Bully Ray has been really good. Um, been very enjoyable. They've actually been doing some pretty good storytelling throughout the uh, throughout the New York tapings and everything. I and I'm kind of hoping, you know, they kind of. I still want them to drop having all the old, um, you know, the older people there. You know, the Rhinos, the Tommy Dreamers, and everything like that. Bully. Obviously, they have Bully Ray there. I know he's more on the older side, but he's at least been with TNA for a while. And I would like to see them continue. At least they're building EC3 as like this big, uh, as a bigger star, and they're building one new one. But I want to see them build a little bit more through the future. Uh, the Hardys and Wolves tag team match. That was a great tag team match. And. Uh, yeah, you know, base and no real story needed to be told about it. You know, just two tag teams trying to see who's the, who's the best. That was the basic story around it, and they put on a really good match. Uh, and then, of course, they had the three different uh, qualifying X Division match, uh, X Division triple threat matches to see who would be competing for the uh, X Division title next week. Uh, in all honesty, I wish they would have done this like they did the first year that they did the whole, you know, Austin Aries cashing in the uh, X Division title to get a world title shot. You know, they had it prepared beforehand, and then the Destination X would have the the actual X Division title match. And instead, they, you know, just have the qualifying matches here, and then it becomes like next week's show or something in that sense. Uh, the first triple threat match was a, that was a phenomenal one. I really enjoyed that with uh, with uh, low key winning and going and going on with everything, and the other two were kind of ho hum. Uh, it's interesting to see where Sonata, uh, how Sonata will go with his heel turn the week before he turned on the Great Muda, and and everything. He hasn't really shown much of a different personality change. He's kind of just following around James Storm with the same type of feel to him. But we'll see how that progresses over time and see if he actually does, you see like uh, facial expression changes, uh, attitude changes, everything like that. We'll see how his character develops over the time being. And then of course they brought Samoa Joe back into the X Division, just kind of a, a you know, a classic X Division guy who, that's where he started. He's going back to his roots and then going into the, um, uh, into the X Division title match the next week. Uh, and that pretty much does bring me down to what the main event was, and that was the Bobby Lashley Austin Aries match. Again, great match. They put on a really good show in this match, and I'm really liking how they're building Bobby Lashley as a champion. Uh, it, it's been a while since you had a dominant heel go in there as the champion, go in there without help and everything, and just you know, and pull and gets the win in in the end. <clears throat> And that's how they've been building Bobby Lashley as a champion ever since he got it from Eric Young. And I feel like they're doing a really good job with it, considering the fact of how bad I thought they did with Eric Young as champion and Magnus as champion as well. They're doing it right with Bobby Lashley at this, at this point in time. You start him out as a dominant heel. 
He goes in there, wins matches without anyone's help. He, he has the physique to do it. He has the build to do it. He has the you know the ability to move in the ring to make to pull that entire thing off. So I'm actually really enjoying Bobby Lashley's title run at this at this point in time. It's been and of course you know the last few matches he's put on with Jeff Hardy and Austin Aries have both been really good. So we'll see where they go on with that in the future. So overall, the Destination X pay, uh, not really pay per view but the special. Uh, you know, I felt it came off as a really good show. It came off as a really good show. I thought the last two triple threat matches for the uh, qualifiers were kind of ho hum, but you had the first one that was really good, a really good tag team title match right at the beginning, and what I felt was a really good match with Austin Aries and Bobby Lashley at the end. And, you know, and of course building up for the next <clears throat> for the next week with the uh, eight man hardcore. Uh, hardcore match. Uh, I feel they've done a really good job building that storyline between Bully Ray and EC3, and you'll see the blow off for that ne uh, next week. So, yeah, overall, it was a pretty good show, and uh, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.